So cricket is back uh, for the final few weeks of the summer. And I've needed some spike for some time. I've had the same pair of ASICs, Speed Menace, whatever they're called, for about five seasons. Um, and they're good, and they're in good order, and they would probably see me through. They'd probably see me through this season easily. But I thought I'd treat myself and have a look. Um, they are quite bulky, the ones I've got, and for batting, that they're not um, ideal, um, and they're, they're quite, um, yeah, quite heavy. However, I looked across the range, and I looked at Adidas and New Balance, Grey Nichols, etc. And I've gone for Painter. Uh, they're a specialist cricket brand, and they've got a bundle on at the moment to get the batting and bowling shoe. Uh, in a special offer, uh, so I thought I'd treat myself and have both. Um, that way I can at least uh, pretend I've got all the gear uh, with no idea. Standard, the old ones are the best. So we're going to take a look at these um, and, and try them on. I also bought some socks um, in one of the... Yeah, some uh, performance socks, which is um, important. Probably a vital component for any sportsman, uh, I would imagine the socks are like, I've got a lot of foot issues and socks can help mitigate these, um, especially in cricket, there's some really good socks out there, let's see how these go. So just starting with the socks, these are very comfy and they've got a um, little spongy grip things on the bottom and they've got padding in the right places and a mesh to help sort of breathability um, they just feel really good um, I'll read what it says on the uh, tag um, painter performance grip socks are designed to provide your feet maximum traction non-slip pads on the inside and outside of the socks enabling you to choose direction change direction quicker more acceleration and reduced slipping. Breathable like moisture, wicking fabric, aiding airflow with extra cushioning. And to me, it feels like these are going to be brilliant. They just, they just feel spongy and supportive in the right places. So we'll see. On to the shoes. We're going to start with the one, two, four. Um, Bodyline series. These are the batting shoes, I believe. You get a nice little card from the Bodyline series. You know, famous um, Ashes series um, about Eddie Painter, who the then the brand is named after. Who's a former England player? And there he is, 1932. That's really cool. Put that to one side. Let's have a look. At the shoes so these are very light on first inspection really clean looking um, standard amount of spikes there um, actually there's less than a, a bowling boot uh, there's usually four on the back here but two which is probably better for batting um, these little uh, raised bits will, will cover the support you need. You need to be lighter on your feet when you're batting. Um, but it's good that there's a middle one here to mark your guard. Yeah, these feel really light. The mesh uh, material um, obviously helps with that. Uh, let's feel how strong the, oh, the toe is really strong. Um, if you get a, a Yorker, that should stop me getting hurt um, so anyway I'll try these on without the spikes in um, and let's see how we go so I've put these on and uh, they are very light um, there's no spikes in them obviously but uh, I can already sit and they fit perfectly um, I've got quite wide feet uh, and these feel excellent. Um, so, I mean, they're not going to help me score any runs, but they're going to 
help me be light on my feet at least. And they're just plain white. There's no silly designs. Uh, they look they look really smart to be honest. Uh, I'm happy with those. Feet aren't moving around too much. Perfect. Let's have a look at the bowling boots, which is a bit more going on with them. So the two two fives are the bowling shoe. Um, got some spikes and a key. I need to get some spikes for the batting ones. I've just realised there's nothing in the box, so I've got in touch with Painter to get that sorted. Another bodyline card before we get into the the shoe. And these are really smart. Nice strap. Um, they're a bit heavier. But you expect that with a bowling boot um, because you've got a lot more going on. You've got a lot more protection that you need when you're dragging your front foot through the crease. And they're black and white. And I just love how simple that design is. Nothing stupid or outlandish. Just a really plain design with the logos. Nice bigger strap to keep your foot in place. These look like quality, real deal uh, sort of scenario. Um, I notice, oh, in the other one, uh, they've included a free sweatband. That's a nice little touch. Um, that's lovely, actually, because I think you have to, I think they're about six quid um, in the accessories section. So let's try these on uh, and see how we get on. So once again, uh, they're, they're a nice wide fit for me with my stupid feet. They feel decent, um, well supported. Um, I've just obviously tried with the spikes in for the games, see how we get on, but they're feeling solid. There are the batting ones there, and here are the bowling ones. They just look really smart. I just like how clean they are. Black and white design. Solid like that front section is not going to get worn away quickly. Hopefully we'll see. Because my front foot drags and it wrecks the front of shoes. That is pretty solid. And the strap is really thick. That's great. Keeps my foot locked in. Um, yeah. I'm not. This looks brilliant. So we'll see how they go at the weekend, won't we? When I report back my abject failures. 